So in today's video, we are going to talk about the EcoFlow system that I bought for my Solus Camperman. And the main reason I bought this system is because we're looking for air conditioning. Solus 59P does not have any air conditioning. So I set this all up and I bought a portable AC and I put it between my chairs. I will show you that system right now. There's my portable AC if it's perfectly between the two chairs. Um, so the Solus comes with a 220 watt panel on the roof, and that's not enough to run my AC. Um, the AC does about 900 watts per hour. The first thing I did was I upgraded the house batteries. You can see down here that I got two Redodo self-heating batteries, 100 amps each. And then this is the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. And today's video, we're going to um, show you the new modular EcoFlow bifacial solar panels. We'll open those up. And also I have the alternator charger. The thing about the alternator charger is it works great because it can either one, charge the house batteries or two, be charged by the house batteries. And I wired it directly into my panel right here. So I didn't have to run the wires to the battery or the front of the car or drill any holes to the bottom of the car. So that's why I really like this setup. And we're going to show it to you right now. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was this solar panel is actually very heavy. Um, it's almost 40 pounds and it's very clunky. And this stands about four feet high by, I would say, two and a half feet wide. So it takes up a lot of space in my van, um, which I don't have much space of. I have the shorter wheelbase version. Um, I did this because I got the sofa couch, so it can seat up to seven people with an added seat belt. And this is basically my minivan. Okay, here are the panels all set up. Uh, like I said, they're very big and clunky, and it uh, took me a few minutes just to open them all up and unpackage them. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is they use XT60W connectors. That's weatherproof connectors, and I am not a fan of them because they don't plug into my regular X60 connections. Okay, so you'll see that they string together in a parallel. And I will string them together right now. There we go, we have them all strung together in a parallel using the XT60W connectors. And you have to plan ahead when you're putting these out because the wires they give you aren't very long. And then it goes from basically right to left. The lefternmost panel is the one that you connect to your EcoFlow. My second complaint is the wiring. Here's the wiring that comes with the solar panel kit. And you'll see that they have the XT60W connector right here, which doesn't have a notch in it, so it won't fit with my regular XT60s. And then it also goes to MC4 connections after that. And then it goes back to this XT60i connector with a notch in between it. So if you're just using an EcoFlow system, why do you need all these different connectors just to connect it? Um, I do plan on buying just a straight up XT60, like 50 foot wire and connecting directly to the solar panels to my EcoFlow. Um, there's, there's no need to have MC4 connectors. They should have included another one with only XT60 connectors. Now my panels are set up, they're pointed at the sun. And on a positive note, <clears throat> these solar panels actually output more than 500 watts. Um, unfortunately, my Delta 3 plus power bank um, only takes in 500 per input. So I need to find a way to separate uh, these two solar panel arrays and place them in both of them so I can get over 500. But right now in the morning, it's 9 a.m. right now, you can see I'm getting almost 500, which is amazing. Um, I was doing over 500 back at home um, during noontime. So here is the solar panel array getting about 500 watts as stated, which is amazing. So that's a plus for EcoFlow. There is the solar panels. Now a negative of this is, other people online complain as well, is the wires in between the solar panels are so short, it's really difficult to reposition all four solar panels. Uh, people were talking about um, unplugging them all, repositioning them, and setting them back up. 
I found that I can move it maybe five inches at a time. I kind of snake them around until they basically point to the sun again. Um, a pro of the heavy weight of the solar panels is actually very stable. Right now it's very windy and you can see these solar panels haven't budged an inch. So we are satisfied with that. Okay, um, I'm actually a really huge fan of the alternator charger. A lot of people ask me why I bought, went with the EcoFlow system and it's mainly because of this alternator charger. Um, it was so easy to wire into my, my uh, power center for the van. And now through the app, um, I can basically charge the van when I use too much. Or when I'm running the AC up EcoFlow, I can draw from my house batteries, which are drawing from my solar panels on the roof of my van, into the power bank, as well as collect energy from the sun. So I'm only running at a deficiency of maybe 200 watts right now, running a giant air conditioning. Um, it's pretty amazing. So I can probably run the air conditioning a whole day and charge up the next day. So I'm very satisfied with this setup. Also, it lets me monitor my voltage, my vehicle voltage from a distance. So I do have a hotspot set up in my van. So there you have it, guys. That's my initial take of my uh, EcoFlow Delta setup with the modular bifacial panels. Pretty cool technology, pretty cool stuff. Um, a lot of good videos on it. Um, unfortunately, they take up way too much space for my little camper van. Um, I don't think I'll use them as much, maybe only when I need air conditioning. And uh, look how much space they take up. They're pretty huge. Takes up almost the size of my van. Um, on, the, on the plus note, it's beautiful out here in Death Valley. Not a person in the area. I hope my van doesn't break down. Most of we're going to be uh, relying more on the uh, provisions in the van. As far as my deferred resignation, I heard they were offering a deferred resignation 2.0, which is great. Um, if anybody from the government is watching, you should take it. Um, it's not about the money, honestly. You guys will probably not starve. And if America stops giving us opportunities, we're going to leave America. We're going to go to another country, guys. Um, we're just going to enjoy our lives. Um, being beholden to a paycheck isn't the way to live. It's not freedom. And I'd rather be out here and poor in my camper van than in an office any day.